Good morning, Laguna Woods. I'm glad you tuned in. I asked my friend <laughs> Phyllis Heflin to stay over another for another show because I wanted to do one about personal stuff. Yesterday we talked about the Women's Connection that meets uh, actually next Tuesday, uh, the, fir the second Tuesday of the month, uh, in Clubhouse 7 and all the information, and, and I hope you'll attend. Great speakers, great lunch, mm -hmm. and Special that's feature. really a good deal, $14, because mm -hmm. that includes tax, tip, the room, everything. So give it a try. You'll make some new friends. Well, I wanted to spend a day, though, just talking about some more personal stuff, and I know, Phyllis, you've been around and still are around. I mean, the Heflin Group, involved in real estate for all these years and I think I asked you and you didn't totally know but how many people or homes would you say over the years that you have been involved with yourself in helping people get settled into Laguna Woods well it probably leisure been, world initially it'd been 40 years so probably a thousand right I know yeah can you imagine that so whenever I go to the grocery store or yeah. walk around the block Somebody will say, you sold me my house. <laughs> and my wife, who I think, I don't know if you met at church or at the Christian Women's Club, but she just has for a long time said I needed to have you on. And so thank you for making the effort to come thank on. Thank you for inviting us. It's so great. Hey, here's our verse for the day, and then we're going to go into this for a second. But in Genesis chapter 2, right as the world was getting started, uh, God said to Adam and Eve, for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Well, I feel like I'm sitting with someone who just personifies this verse because you and your husband's name is Van. Right. That's uh, his, his name is William Harvey, but we call him Van. I know. <laughs> and so... But you've been married how long? So? 70 years. 70 years. Our daughter gave us a party of all parties to celebrate our right? 70th anniversary. Yeah. Wow. You deserve any party or any other thing that you get. Except that it's not, and, and I've been married almost 50 myself, and people Good. say, how can you be married? Well, it's not painful or no. something. I mean, it's just... Enjoy living. It's just a yeah. shame that the generations, the late generations, don't realize that, you know, yeah. God commanded us to find a husband or a wife and have them him first in our life. Yeah. God comes first, then comes your husband or your wife. And if they would realize that, nowadays they look at marriage as, I don't know how they look at it, but they don't get married. They don't, and, and, and those that do very aren't sad. taking their vows very mm -hmm. seriously many mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons. I just want to encourage you, Laguna Woods. All of us have grandchildren, we or do. many of us do, who the way that marriage, as Phyllis had just said, is viewed today is not in the same way. And if you need to send, you know, go on YouTube, send them the link to this show. Mm -hmm. Let them, you have been married 70 years. It's a great example. Do you have any tips for the younger ones maybe that are getting married, that are just getting married or, or well, anything like that? Well, like I said, that? When you have to put God first. Okay. That has, that's a must. Now, my husband comes next. Okay. So I can have all the friends I want, but yes. his needs and his wants come after God. Because if you do that, he's going to treat me that same way. Yes. And if you don't, then you don't have a marriage. And so I'm sure that you've had disagreements oh, sure. over the years. I didn't promise you a rose garden. <laughs> yeah, as somebody <laughs> once sang. I didn't uh, promise you a rose garden. How do you handle that? Well, you watch you know, our tongue. And the Bible says can be very wicked. We know that. So you have to watch. Don't say things when you're so upset that you can't take back. Because once they're said, they're said. 
and they really can hurt you. And you don't forget those. So watch what you say, you know? That is so wise. In fact, I, over the years, have become actually a slower talker mm -hmm. <laughs> in general because I've decided I can't, I've got to take a few moments before I respond mm -hmm. back. And then that, that often changes. Especially when you're mad. That's what I mean. Oh, my. Yeah. And so I. Even, even in treating your children. Yeah. So you had mm -hmm. you had three children, three children along the way. How about grandchildren? And we have I've lost count. We have great really? grandchildren. Yeah, oh. we have a big family because my oldest son had six children. So now they're all grown. They're having children, and their children are having children. So we're leaving. <laughs> that was so you know. great. And Do you so, have any and current I'm so, count? And I'm so happy that <laughs> most of them are serving the Lord. You know, wow. that they're Christian believers. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what really pleases us of to see course. that we're leaving children that believe in the Lord. So you had, well, was Van your oldest? He's my oldest. He had six children. He had, yeah, he had six children. So, again, <laughs> it was, here's, here's kind of a side story. So the year was 1972. And I just entered seminary myself and at seminary which was Talbot but they said well Rick you have to have a ministry right and I didn't know I was such a new Christian and I mm -hmm. well what what do I do for ministry so go ask your church and at the church which was Mariner's Church Mariner's back church. in the day we were on Coast Highway in Corona Del Mar I started doing junior high ministry, and, mm -hmm. and within a short period of time after that, Phyllis's son, Van, joins me in, in ministry. And, uh, and married one of the founding father's daughter. Which Sherry, I didn't know Sherry at the Stevens, time. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it was Van and Sherry, and then Diane, my wife, the four of us actually did junior high ministry See? together at Mariners when we were young. When you were young. And when you we know were what? young. And Van and Sherry, I think, had the first unconventional wedding ceremony at Mariners. Is that right? <laughs> they didn't dress all up and tuck oh. all was a. So I said, "Well, are you sure you can do that at Mariners?" Oh yes, that's fine. Well, and that was before I, I didn't get to go to their wedding. Mm -hmm. That was before we knew them. Mm -hmm. But uh, so when now you fast forward all these years, and and uh, I had lost track of Van. Yeah. And then when I met you and your husband, and you were introduced as, as Van Heflin. Small world. And I said, "Gee, that's interesting," because I knew a Van Heflin. Right. <laughs> and then you said. That's my son. That's my son. I, I oh, son. no. You know. Now, Jennifer and Brent, <laughs> yeah. they have no children. So we're so glad that Van had six. Oh. And we wouldn't have any grandchildren. That's interesting. Yeah. I couldn't get Jennifer married. It all came. <laughs> I think this is a story for another day. I mean, but, it is. Another day. <laughs> but, but anyway, so I go way back. Were you at Mariners back in those days we also? Met at the, we met in elementary school before we met at the bank. Yes. Well, so that, that's, that's people where don't I went. know where the name Mariners right. came from. Mariner it actually school. came. It actually came from Mariner's School. Mariner's School. Yeah. And we met there. Okay. Well, Phyllis, this has been so fun, and I, I so appreciate you. Uh, so all you've done between Women's Connection, and we've talked about that. And marriage. Your marriage is just something that I admire so well. We'll get there someday, And we maybe. believe in marriage, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, we believe yeah. in marriage. So it's such a blessing. Uh, thank you for all you do. You've, I, I just, without even knowing, I know you bless the people that you help find homes and, uh, and your whole family does or Jennifer does. And uh, so great. Thank you for being on well, the thank show. Thank you. And you're a blessing to me. Thank you. Thank you. Laguna Woods, thank you. Have a great uh, day and we'll see you next time. God bless.